Hey, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty, and I'm really excited to be here with you today because I have some great home pedicure equipment that I've been wanting to show you. And in fact, I have been saving up my calluses. I have terribly calloused feet, and I'm going to be showing them to you, and they are not pretty, I have to admit. I was on vacation. Alan and I went with John and Terry, a couple friend of ours, down to Crystal Bridges about two weeks ago. And in the car, I looked in at my gnarly feet and I thought, oh, Terry, I am saving these feet for my YouTube video. They're terrible. Here I am in the car two weeks ago. Okay, I'm with my friends in the car. There's Terry. We're in the car. We're, we're going for a couples trip, I guess, down yes. in Bentville, Arkansas. Yeah. And fine. I wanted to tell you, Terry, I have deliberately not, my grubby old feet, I have deliberately not done a pedicure because I'm going to do a video on a home pedicure. I saved my grimy feet, so that's I was going to tell you why my feet are grimy. But everybody, I want you to see how callous my feet are. But you know something, Terry? It was hard for me in my perfectionism to come here with my feet in such terrible shape. But I've got to be able to do a video about it, so you're stuck with my grimy feet. But stuck with you and your grimy feet. And this is going to be in the video, too, so you're also stuck being in my video about my grimy feet. Yes, yes. Grimy feet, I appreciate you because it'll be a good video. And as you can see, my feet are definitely not my strongest feature. Well, actually, I guess they are strong right now because I do have some big calluses. So what I'm doing here, I'll show you what I go through at home. And I still go into the nail salon to get my toes painted, but I basically do all the grinding of my calluses here at home and I have some great tools to share with you. And this is a portable foot spa I use. It is collapsible to about an inch wide, which is great because it fits very nicely in a closet. Okay, here is a look at the foot spa when it has been folded down. It's just kind of like an accordion. It gets to be maybe about three inches tall, so it is much easier to store. And that is the little remote control. And normally I tape that just so it doesn't get lost in the closet, but I love this thing. You just turn it on and it has a low, medium, and high. And then I'm just going to sit here again for about 15 minutes and soften up those horrible calluses. Okay, I've done 15 minutes, now let's turn it off. Okay, there we go. Now, <laughs> here are my feet and <laughs> they are truly horrible, but they feel a little better, but look how many calluses I have. I've got a horrible callus here and I have lots of calluses there. It's just really not good. Let me get the other one out of here. <laughs> probably it's better to do this in the bathroom and not the kitchen. Now, this is actually what I wanted to show you. This is the SE pedicure device, absolutely wonderful. And I'll get to that in just a few moments. Basically, I've let my calluses go so long that I have to come in with a big kahuna first, which is this mammoth foot rasp. And so basically I will just take this, you just kind of run it along all your calluses very gently and it's just, getting those calluses off. And you have to be very careful with this device and not overdo it because you can really abrade yourself. But see, that's really helping that callus there. You can do it all over your feet. And I have a black towel down here, so I'm not getting it all over the rug. Somehow it is very satisfying to do this. Basically, I've let it get horrible because I was waiting for this video. And usually I don't do that. Usually I don't have to go in with this big guy. Basically, I just have to go in usually with the little Essie device, but I figured these were so far gone that I really needed to, to get the, the big calluses off. It already feels much better. And that little bit of a foot spa really made a difference because these were very, very hard calluses and now they're just coming right off. Oh, it feels so good. I truly have been saving these calluses for you. I know it's gross. Now I'll go ahead and do the other foot off camera and then I'll come back and show you this little guy. Okay, I finished with the foot rasp and now my feet, as you can see, they look much softer and the calluses are really almost gone. Now I'm going to go in with this SC pedicure tool and this is my favorite thing ever. And before I let my feet get so bad as I have done right now, Usually what I do is every two or three nights, I would be sitting down on the couch when we were watching Netflix with a towel under me, and I would just go ahead and run this over my calluses, and it really does help. Just turn it on, and there it is, it's on high. Then you just come in, and as you can see, little bits of dry skin are coming off, and they're falling down to the towel. I don't know if you can see that, I hope you can see that. But this is very good at finishing off all of that dead skin 
you just use it in little circular, little circular motions. And it has a little light on it, so you can kind of see what's going on. I have a big callus there. So I just go ahead and use it like that. From here, in the light, I can really see a lot of those little pieces of dry skin flaking off. There's my toe, which is just terrible. And then you can get all of your little toes. Once in a while, in the spa, when I'm getting my nails done, or my, or my pedicure done, when I used to do it, once in a while they would use this tool, but not all the time. Even though you pay $40, $50 for a pedicure, you're not really very good at getting the uh, calluses off for the most part. It's very satisfying <laughs> that my calluses are coming off and they were really terrible. I probably had not done this for a good month and a half waiting to do this video. I should have done it earlier for you. But now my feet feel nice, nice and smooth. And I'll go ahead and do the other foot off camera. Okay, now the calluses are all gone and my feet feel really nice, but I do have cuticles around each of my toes and I don't really believe in cutting my cuticles. I've gotten an infection before, so I don't like to do that. So I use the Sally Hansen Instant Cuticle Remover. And basically what you do is you just put it around your cuticles on your fingers or your toes, and you just let it sit there for like, it says 15 seconds, and I actually let it wait a little longer. You just let it sit there. Probably should have removed my polish, but they will do that at the salon tomorrow and I'll take you with me to the salon so you can see that process. But you just put it on there, and then it has some sort of maybe salicylic acid or some sort of acid in there. Okay, I've gotten the Sally Hansen on there on all of my cuticles. I'm just letting that soak in, letting that acid do its work, and I'll be back in about 20 seconds. Okay, I've waited 20 seconds, and now I'm just going to go in with a little orange stick. You just sort of go around each cuticle and give it a little push back, like that and that dead skin is just dissolving all around there. You can kind of see the, the dead skin rolling off. And there we are. I am ready to go wash off my feet and then I'm going to go in to the nail salon and I'll meet you there and you can see my repaint. Okay, here is my nail salon. It's called Princess Nails. It's in the same shopping center as where I go to get my groceries. This is Jack, and he does a wonderful job. He really concentrates. <laughs> it always feels so good to get your nails painted. I can't do them nearly as well as Jack does. That's OPI Big Apple Red, which is one of their classic reds. I think it's their best selling color actually. I love that. It's a very good winter red for fingers and toes, obviously. Thank you, Jack. They look great. <laughs> okay, I just got finished having my toes repainted. I'm so happy. My feet finally look better. <laughs> and since I've made the video, I can keep grinding them down with that little pedicure tool, which was fabulous. And I did want to tell you about one thing that I forgot to mention. And this is whenever I want my feet to look really good, I use this Alpha Hydrox Extra Strength Deep Therapy Foot Cream. It's 12% glycolic acid, and I just slather it on my feet. And then I put some little white socks on and I sleep in my socks. Half the time I kick them off halfway through the night. But when I wake up, my feet really do look soft and it keeps those calluses at bay somewhat. So anyway, normally at this point in the video, I leave you with a little thought for the day. But since I'm in my car, it's probably not real practical to do that. If you all have any great tips that you think would be worthy of my sharing in a thought for the day, I would love to get your information down in the comments section because I would love to share your best thoughts for the day as well. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.